Now, a new model is coming to replace the old one. It looks like a ship, but it is actually an aircraft. Britain's heartbeat, air brakes, has created a facility called Helium Powered Airlander 10. It has no engine, so it is 100% air dependent. Because it has 97% less carbon emissions compared to other aircraft, it is the world's longest aircraft. The aircraft is 90 meters or 302 feet long. It is the world's longest passenger aircraft, 15 meters longer than the current longest airlander. Meanwhile, this aircraft has been tested in the United States. Let's find out what is in this futuristic aircraft. This aircraft is modeled after the British company Hybrid Air Brakes or HAB. The Airlander 10 was built for the Martian Army. From the sky to the horizon, the construction of the hybrid air brakes was known from the side that the aircraft can be used for cargo transport in various fields. But the aircraft is so big and heavy that it cannot fly above 4,880 feet, and the total length can be up to 148 kilometers per h, except for some passengers. It can fly in the sky for two weeks in one city, and if there are passengers, Airlander 10 can fly in the sky for one to five days. The manufacturer and the institution know that this airship was built with the intention of making the aircraft cheap and environmentally friendly. The manager of the institution said that even if the speed of this aircraft is very low, it emits very little carbon. Modern people are looking for a way to reduce carbon in the environment. In that case, she believes that this aircraft will be popular in the future. Currently, research is underway on the practical use of the aircraft. Grandy knows that the engine of an ordinary aircraft is in the wing which is blown by the wind. In addition, this aircraft can land in any place, on the sea, water, sand, and ice. When this aircraft will start operating, the public will definitely be eager to get up. It has a helium-filled engine, so that a football field or a double-decker bus can be built inside. In addition, many cabins can accommodate 100 people. Airlander is also being used for air travel in 2030. These will be used for a four-hour journey from Spain to Bolar. The cost of this air ticket is estimated to be more than the cost of a commercial aircraft. In November 2017, Airlander 10 was launched. Before the launch, Airlander 10 completed six test flights in August 2016. It launched its first test flight from the UR airport, but it is not known how it will be built in 2026.